But breaking right now, Meghan Markle refused to be out of the spotlight for long. But her re-emergence has already sparked scandal. So the Duchess of Sussex, as she likes to be called, dressed up in a bit of a trashy red ensemble, though I'm no fashion expert, to attend an event for an LA's children, LA Children's Hospital at the weekend. But what's bizarre is that, according to reports, this was an event she wasn't formally invited to, and an event in which she most definitely refused to stay, being escorted out a side door. So I'm going to show you some footage now of a very obvious fallen celebrity trying to get over the fact that the Hollywood Reporter has just confirmed what I reported years ago, that this is a woman who is a dictator in high heels, who has relentlessly bullied her staff for years. But look at Megan. She's just so happy to pretend that she cares about the children. And Megan, right and Megan straight ahead. Oh, 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 oh. And right here, please. Oh. Oh, ladies, together, can we start ladies. you with the beginning, please? Together, ladies. And together, ladies. 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 ladies together. Oh, one stop. Can we get all the smiles in one room? There, there you go. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank I have been Thank you. And get ready, Tron. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, and Megan together. Paul and Megan. Okay. And the girl with the camera in front. And your hand. Your flash. I mean, obviously, so completely insincere, you know that. But what's bizarre is that Megan attended the event with her new BFF, this is Kelly McKee Zaj Fenn, whose daughter has apparently used the hospital. So that's fine. But then she inexplicably lied about the fact her school friends were also now using the hospital. Newsflash. Meghan Markle has no school friends. They have all been ghosted. She had no friends at her wedding who were outside the entertainment industry who she had known before her role in Suits whatsoever. So I'm more than happy to say that what I'm about to play to you is just another example that Meghan Markle is a big fat liar. Oh my goodness, the work that they do at Children's Hospital LA is otherworldly and I think from my standpoint as a mother no one wants to have to be in a position where you need to go to a place like this but if you have to the best place in the world you could go would be Children's Hospital LA and I have close friends who still have their children there going through treatments either from high school close mom friends now that are having their children really have that experience but the staff is incredible and the amount of work that they do for families that really could not afford this level of care is something that I think should never be overlooked. So I'm just grateful for everything they do. Happy to be here to support. First though, have you ever wondered what happened to the legendary Chuck Norris? Well, I recently saw a video he made and I was shocked. He's in his 80s and still kicking butt and working out and staying active. What's even more shocking is he's stronger, can work out longer and even has plenty of energy left over for his grandkids. He did this by just making one change. He says he still feels like he's in his 50s. His wife even started doing this one thing too, and she's never felt better. She says she feels 10 years younger, her body looks leaner, and she has energy all day. Chuck made a special video that explains everything. Make sure you watch it by going to chuckdefense.com forward slash outspoken or by clicking in the link in the show notes below this video on YouTube and Rumble. It will change the way you think about your health. Once again, that's chuckdefense.com forward slash outspoken and click on the link in the description below to watch the video now.
you simply will not believe how simple it is. Just a reminder, the legendary Chuck Norris is a whopping 84 years old, and I have to be honest, he has more energy than me. He discovered he could create dramatic changes to his health, simply focusing on three things that sabotage our body as we age. So watch his method by clicking the link in the description box below, but I'll give it to you now as well, chuckdefense.com forward slash outspoken, or you can also scan on the QR code on screen right now. But back to the show. Utterly unbelievable. Lalani Dowding, June Slater with me now. June, I could not believe this because, okay, go to the event, whatever you need, some good PR after it, what everyone's been telling you, but do not lie and say that you have high school friends who are using this hospital when we know that you have no friends from your high school. Well, she's just the sort of woman that keeps getting it wrong. She's been gifted in many ways. She's nice looking. She's got a nice voice. She's managed to trap herself a prince. It should have been good news week for Megan, but she's managed to trash the lot. And using kids, I hate people who use kids. You know, she couldn't wait for that photo opportunity. And unfortunately, I think it's attention gluttony. They can't get enough attention. They, they thrive on it. They need it. It's like a junkie getting a fix. And I'm going to say quite bluntly, what exactly has she got to offer? You know, I see Princess Anne. She's always doing something. Um, she's not particularly an attractive woman. We're not following her for a fashion, but she's always busy doing her duties. I see this girl, this woman, as as an attractive woman, but maybe not with a very good soul because it's all me, me, me. It's all about, you know, I, I cannot believe the support that her and Harry get when it's just a couple of multimillionaires moaning and groaning about what a sad life they have, getting to use transport. Most people on the planet will never see designer clothes, living in friends' houses that cost multi-million dollars. And they've just got a free ride everywhere they go. And they're still not satisfied. And they still have to come out and pretend to be something they're not. And I think the public, especially the British public, I don't know about the Americans, but we are sick of this fake respectability. People like Starmer, Hugh Edwards, Meghan, Harry, we're sick of it. Just be you. Just let's see you and let us make our mind up whether we still like you or not. Yeah, the problem is, I think, she has now been seen. The public has made up her mind, but she can't just accept that. And so we're going to see more and more of this. I mean, Alani, it was interesting, wasn't it? We were having a chat, the three of us, earlier in the day. And we all spoke with some joy about our school friends. We, we all mm -hmm. have them. You know, I was at my best friend from school's wedding at the weekend. Uh, she has been my best mate since I was 10 years old. It was absolutely beautiful. And look, I know not everyone can keep in touch with their school friends, but Megan doesn't have friends from university or school or from her early workplaces. Every single person was ghosted, Lalani, apart from her showbiz friends, her friends who she thought could bring her something. And that's why we saw this ridiculous spectacle of her inviting people like Amal Clooney and Oprah Winfrey and the Beckhams, who she barely knew to her own wedding. But what I find hilarious is that now she's on the red carpet trying to make out as if she still has friends from high school. This is a crazy thing. Like you, Dan, I'm really close friends with one of my school friends from school. She, um, I, w she, I was her bridesmaid at her wedding. When Billy and I get married, she will be one of my bridesmaids. So, but to not have invited a school friend in any kind of capacity, it doesn't even have to be a bridesmaid, just there in the congregation to celebrate your wedding with you. Um, it's just, it says to me, she doesn't really have any of these friends because I'm sure they wouldn't have turned down the offer. But as you said, it all seemed to be the Hollywood friends, the showbiz friends and this, that, that turned up. Now, also another thing I see is the way she's dressed now, it's not very royal. And that's what I've said from the start. She was in it because she thought it was going to be like this Kardashian style fairy tale where she gets the hottest dresses and, and you know, she's dressed up and sexy, which also for a children's charity, I don't think is appropriate. And that is a children's 
you know, charity. The last time I went to like the Cold Strength Foundation ball, I was like, definitely not going to get my cleavage out. You know, it's it's there for kids. So I think you mentioned as well, Dan, did she leave early? Did you say? Well, yeah, I was, I, I was, I was going to ask you about the Solani because, of course, you go to showbiz events yeah. and have got been to showbiz events for ages. So, so, so Megan's mole, who does a lot of great research on X, wrote that Megan was not invited and found out a friend was attending, which is why you won't find a single photo of Meghan Markle sitting at a table inside the event. Megan left after crashing the carpet. And then according to Taz, who is the royal YouTube sensation, she's a regular on this show, wrote, there's not a single photo of Megan inside the event. Desperate demon duchess. And, and according to Taz, had actually checked Getty you know, which is the picture agency which was putting yes, out all of the photos. Yeah. And what was interesting to me is that People magazine, and you know People is a real mouthpiece for Meghan Markle. Yes. This is how they wrote it, Lalani. They said, the Duchess was later escorted out of the event by a side door by a staff member, though she chatted to anyone who stopped her on the way out. So clearly she had no interest in being at this very important event she was using it as a photo opportunity right yes absolutely she put a dress on that's very revealing more revealing than what we've seen her dress like before not very royal as i said and then um to be escorted out the side door. Now, I remember that happening back in the days, the showbiz days when I was in my early 20s. People would show up to premieres, do the red carpet, but they didn't really want to see the movie. They just wanted the pictures. And that's what it reminds me of. They wanted the publicity and the press, but doing the red carpet brings. And you see a lot of people, like I did back, back in those days, kind of doing that at mediocre events. If they don't really care about something, but just yes, want the I press and publicity. That. So you know, this just tells me that this is exactly what this is. She showed up, she did the red carpet, she grabbed the kids for a photo opportunity. She grabbed some, you know, girl's hand she's pretending she's friends with. But there is no real, you know, school friends from back in the day. Because like we said, they would have been at her wedding. Because who would say no to one of your best friends and totally. who's now going to be a royal and, and say no to that totally. kind of a wedding. Totally. Not a chance. And of Not course, it's really easy to say, oh, it's just a little white lie. But I'm sorry, this is a woman who claimed the British mm -hmm. royal family was racist. So that's why these little white lies matter. Because yeah. I've been saying that this woman has been compulsively lying about really important things for quite a few years. So, OK, fine. In this case, she's just lied about not having any school friends. But the problem is it, it shows that you cannot trust what comes out of her mouth. Now, the weird thing is at the moment, June, the media seems to really be wanting to big up Meghan Markle. So there's been lots of people saying, oh, her dress was great. And um, she was following in the footsteps of Catherine. But Royal News Network. Uh, tweeted saying, no, she did not. That dress is horrifically bad and Catherine would never be caught dead in such an inappropriate, classless ensemble. So look, I'm I'm, I'm going to leave this one to you two. Lalani says, no, 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 the dress is inappropriate. June, what what do you think? Was, was that an appropriate dress for an event <clears throat> at a to, to raise money for a children's hospital? No, it's too revealing. It's the sort of cheap look that you would... If you were on the pull, maybe if you just signed up to Tinder or whatever these dating sites are and you wanted it as a profile picture, but not for a kiddies event. She's nice enough looking. Why couldn't she just wear something more appropriate? Absolutely no way that Princess Kate would dress anything like that for such an event. She's not, she's sophisticated. She's not cheap. And unfortunately, it's it's a trailer trash mentality when you're dressed in some... I, I, I don't particularly pull her to pieces but because I don't see much of her. I don't follow what Megan does. I follow it a little bit. But even I thought when I thought, oh, my God, that dress for this particular event, it's just too much. Mm. It's not even flattering. It doesn't do her any favours. It's the wrong colour. It's the wrong neckline. And someone should have been advising. And I think I, it said somewhere she, she's going solo, so she's doing these things without the prince. Um, once she starts branching out on her own without the prince, or whatever he's called now, he's still a prince, is he? Yeah, he's um, still a prince. Then she's, lo you, she's losing her ginger kudos, isn't she? 
Yeah, she, she is. Needs <laughs> she is. She really is. I mean, I think where this whole oh she's following Catherine thing is is that it's a dress that she had previously worn with Prince Harry, so she's recycling it. But look, it just got worse this weekend for <laughs> Meghan Markle because Lalani. I mean, you know Hollywood, Lalani, and the fact that she's now had the Hollywood Reporter turn on her is significant. And now this new headline that she's lost another staff members of course that's what the hollywood reporter was all about why hollywood is quitting on harry and megan they can't work for her she makes growing men cry she's described as a dictator in high heels and the latest person to go is her global press secretary and head of communications ashley hansen and look, they've done all of this language lalani of oh you know she's still going to be working for megan in some form because she's setting up her own company but i mean come on this is now just a Blood of constant departures, isn't it? There is a trend. Yeah. What a stupid title, anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's nonsense. But you know that just that just sums up Meghan the Markle, ego. doesn't it? It sums the up the ego. Oh, I need a, this. Di- oh, whatever. Um, but <laughs> yeah, no people don't like difficult people in Hollywood. It's hard enough trying to produce anything, whether it's from a podcast to a radio show to a TV show. Difficult people just make it uncomfortable on set, and for every person around, from you know the lighting guy to the sound guy to you know all the people, but you know behind the scenes, no one wants to work with difficult people because you know what? There's so many other more talented and much easier to work with people around. So you can always find someone else. Someone younger is going to come up. Someone, um, well, it's easy to be more talented than her. So you know. Why, why put up with difficult? No, indeed. Now, look, just finally, I have to show you a couple of moments from Prince Harry's tour, because as June alluded to, these two are now going solo professionally. I have a feeling at some point mm. they'll be going solo personally, too. So what we got was from Marie Claire, uh, this propaganda video. I call it propaganda, but they, they said, here are all of Prince Harry's incredible behind-the-scenes moments from New York. Screen. It's a picture of my kids. What's yours? Every single one of us need courage in order to really move the dial. The younger generation are all giving me hope. Your activism, your... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm just... I'm looking for my sick bucket. God. But then there was one other moment, and I really wanted to show you this, because it shows you how Harry is so trying to copy what members of his family are doing, because he wants to be royal again. You might remember... A couple of weeks back, there was this beautiful moment where King Charles was meeting the New Zealand women's rugby team. And totally naturally, one of the rugby players asked him for a hug, and then they all went in for a big group hug. And it was a beautiful moment. The reason it was a beautiful moment is that it wasn't contrived. Charles had no idea that it was coming. And it was this really tender moment that was unexpected. Quite the opposite with Harry. So he's in South Africa. And he tries to replicate that moment by asking the group that he's with for a group hug. Watch this. Sorry, keep spreading the love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thank you that you speak so much Thank you. Thank you. Such, for such an icon so modest, oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you are Can we have one group hug? 
Now, look, Lilani, I know some people will say I'm being harsh about that, but Harry had to ask for the group hug, whereas with Charles, it happened naturally. Oh, sorry, Lilani, we're just struggling to hear you. Just, just hold that thought. Sorry, oh, we've got I you. Think got I've you back now. Myself. We've, we've got I got you a back. dog shaking in the background, so I muted myself. But no, we've no, got I you back. Say, say that again, please. Say that again. He, he really is trying too hard, too hard to be like his dad. He's trying far too hard. But going back to what June um, was saying, it's you know when two people that actually go out a lot decide they're not going to go out and do this kind of thing together. That raises a lot of red flags. You know, I go out a lot to events by myself because my fiance just doesn't like to go to those kinds of events. And he doesn't go to any event without asking me along with him because he knows that I do enjoy um, events. So so it's very weird that these two people are leading, are going to these things very separately. That that does raise a lot of red flags to me because there would be no need for it. They both, I mean, Megan is desperate for the attention. So why would she not go with Harry? And obviously Harry's decided he no longer has that much, maybe, well, what's the other reason? He's decided he has no, you know, not much to think about Megan's um, like yeah. nonsense events exactly. that he, she's going on he's to. He's worked out she is dragging him yeah. down, I think. Uh, June, did, did, did you find any of that from Harry? inspiring at all because you keep um, saying those sort of woke words well the trouble is he uses a lot of words to say nothing it's all soundbite material isn't it it's like management speak um you, you know like when people say things like we're harvesting for business you're not harvesting you're going out looking for customers just talk <laughs> normal english it will do he uses that sort of stuff and it does my head in um he's, he's obviously struggling and yeah. he doesn't have this support network around him that the royals have, which is will be far superior to whatever he pays for. And then he's got this woman, this American woman, who will be wanting to do things a more American way. And I think that I, I think it well, they, they just get it wrong. They just get it so wrong, as you say. He had to ask, ask for the hug. I mean, they're obviously quite a supportive crowd, but that business, what have you got on your phone? I've got my kids and and having to show himself, look, this is me, how nice I am. I'm always, he's the royal equivalent of the ones that have the be kind border on the profile. Yes. <laughs> who are always, who are always, we all know this, don't we? Always the nastiest cretins yes. on social media. <laughs> because if you have to say that you'll be kind, you're anything yeah. but. Oh my goodness, I love you too. Thank you so much for being here. It's always amazing. Uh, really, really appreciate the time. June Slater, who you have to follow on YouTube. Her channel is absolutely amazing. I will link to it in the show notes. And Lilani Dowding, who you have to follow on X because she is one of the most outspoken ladies on the planet. Uh, thank you both so much. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Speak soon. Thank you so much for watching Dan Wooten Outspoken. Please click on my face just to the bottom left to subscribe to this brand new independent news source and turn on the notification bell so you'll be alerted to our brand new live shows, uncancelled interviews and special royal episodes. Outspoken is also now available as a podcast so you can listen to the show every weekday on the go wherever you are. You can subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. And I've put some of the links in the show notes below this video. Keep watching our outspoken clips to support this independent news venture with no spin, no bias, and no censorship, unlike the MSM. Most importantly, I promise to keep fighting for you.